Goku, Vegeta, and Broly has now witnessed Cypher's power as all three of them went head to head with Cypher but he was holding back and still beat them. In the last part, we mentioned that Goku, Vegeta, and Broly decided to go to planet Earth since they heard they have a set of Dragon Balls and their plan was to go and wish for Beerus the Destroyer to be brought back and from there when they decide to go Earth, they end up fighting with Kami. Kami went and he transformed to his orange form since he was also one of Cypher's men. Upon using his orange form, Goku, Vegeta, and Broly went and they used their full power. Not so much, but they managed to easily beat Kami down and from there, Cypher has arrived. With Cypher arriving, they all went and used their full power, but they still didn't stood a chance against him as Cypher went and he one shot all of them towards the ground, showing them his power. What is going on my Z fans, welcome back to what if Goku, Vegeta and Broly were sent to Beerus, Zeno and Supreme Kai's world. Before we begin this what if, please drop a like, I'll greatly appreciate it. And if you haven't already clicked the bell, what are you guys waiting for, click it so you'll be the first when the next episode comes out and feel like this channel isn't for you later on in the future, you guys could always unsubscribe. Let's get right to the what if. Cypher went and he managed to one-shot Goku, Vegeta and Broly towards the ground. Despite the fact that Goku and Vegeta went and used their true power, but Cypher was still stronger than them as he managed to beat them and he made him realize that they still need to go and unleash more power if they want to have a chance against him. With that, Cypher's men came as they all surrounded Cypher and from there, Cypher looked towards him and said, it is time we get rid of these three. They thought they're the big shot trying to come in between my plan. Ha! Not anymore. I'm gonna destroy them once and for all. My lord, if you wouldn't be so inclined, can I do the finishing blow? Hell no. You know this is gonna be my chance. I'll be the one to do the finishing blow, no one else. I respect that, my lord. Well then, goodbye, Goku, Vegeta, Brawly. You guys had potential. But unfortunately, you guys put your faith on the wrong person. Dai Shinken will die along with everyone else. Now die! With that, Cypher was about to kill them but saw someone has arrived as it was no one other than Dai Shinken himself along with Whis and Vados. There's no way I'm gonna let you hurt these people, Cypher. Even if it means for me to break the Angel Code, I will do it, and I'll kill you right here. Haha, <laughs> please. We both know even if you did break the Angel Code, you still wouldn't stand a chance against me. You wouldn't have enough time to fight me. By the time you begin, you will die. I don't need to, but I'm gonna take these guys with me. If you wanna follow us, you can, but you know what would happen. As Dai Shigen went and he picked up Goku, Vegeta, and Broly along with Whis and Vados helping and they all kai kai right to Dai Shinken's world. Tch, <laughs> let him be. These pathetic angels will die when the time comes. Let's just continue forward with the plan. As they all begun going forward and they left planet Earth. On Zeno's world, Dai Shinken has arrived there as he put down Goku, Vegeta, and Broly and with that he went and used his staff to heal them. Upon healing them, they all got up as Goku looked around and said, uh, What? Where's Cypher? I'm gonna end him. Uh, I think he kicked our ass, Kakarot. Yeah, no kidding. He beat the shit out of all of us. I cannot believe he's that strong. Darn it! I knew he should have used more power. <laughs> So you also hold back, huh? I was actually about to go use my full power, but that bastard one shot me before I can. You see, that is your guy's problem. Oh, Dai Shinken. You guys are too busy toying around. I understand you guys are Saiyans. It's in your nature to go and toy around, but you saw the power of Cypher. Yeah, I know, but something tells me I could easily beat him now if I use my full power. Don't be so arrogant, Goku. You are my number one student. You're the only one to ever be my student? I cannot believe you'll be this arrogant. I'm sorry Daishiken, but what did I say? Cypher was only using hardly 10% of his power. What? You're saying that bastard got more power than that? Oh shit, if that's true then we're in for it. I guess we gotta do everything we can to make ourselves stronger. Because I'll be honest, if I were to use my full power too, and if he's only using 10%, yeah, he'll destroy us. Darn. He's that strong? Until this day, I couldn't find out who he is. 
I had a plan to go to Zuno to ask, but Cypher beat me to it. He killed Zuno, just so that I wouldn't ask him. And he took away the Super Dragon Balls. I can no longer get them or feel them. Before I was able to feel the Super Dragon Balls, but now I can. Damn it! What does this bastard want? He wants to end everyone. All of the angels and God. He wants to be the only God living, and his plan is to be the ruler of the entire multiverse. He thinks he knows what justice is. Well then what do we do, Daishinken? Father, I suggest we should go and all train. Let's get ourselves a lot stronger, Goku. With that, you guys will might have a chance. But you guys also need to strive to get stronger too. Yeah, I'm in for it. Whatever it is, let's do it. I want to avenge Supreme Kai. I want to avenge it too. That bastard took away Beerus, although I don't really care for that guy. He still was nice enough to let me be in this planet. If he wanted, he could have killed me. Tch, he couldn't do sh nothing. I was the one who ordered for him not to touch you. Duh. Oh, well then screw that bastard. Vegeta. Well, I don't care. I'm going to bring back Supreme Kai. He's like a father to me. I respect that and I'll help you with that too. Me too, Brawly. Hurry, right, Daishiken. I'm ready. Let's go for our training. As Daishiken went and took Goku, Vegeta, and Broly, along with Miris and Vatos and Whis, and they all began training each other, trying to get Goku, Vegeta stronger and stronger. While they were doing that, Cypher continued on with his plan as he managed to kill Universe 3 and 5 Destroyer, along with the Supreme Kai, as the Angels had arrived right back to Zeno's world. Zeno had no idea what's going on since Daishinken wasn't really ready to tell him and if he were to tell Zeno what's going on, Zeno would probably go and erase all the universes along with Cypher, which is not part of the plan. With that, Goku and everyone came out to take a break as Daishinken could sense that Universe 3 and 5 Destroyer has been killed along with his angel and from there he remembered that Universe 7 still has a set of Dragon Ball. Upon hearing that, got Vegeta and Broly really curious and excited since they have a chance to bring back Supreme Kai. Daishiken told him that the Dragon Ball is set in a weird place and that he'll get Mirrors to take them towards that planet. Broly and Vegeta are ready but Goku wanted to continue training since more Angel came. He feels like he could still push himself so he asked Daishiken to focus just on him and to train him to his best. Daishiken agreed as Vegeta and Broly decided to go to that planet because they heard Cypher will also go there. It is a race between them and Cypher who will be the one to get the Dragon Balls first. With that, the angels went and they took him as Miris went and took Vegeta and Broly. On a remote planet, they have arrived but they saw they weren't alone. Someone else was there as it was no one other than Moro, the evil wizard. Ah, so I see you Saiyans are here too. Interesting. What the? Who the hell are you? My name is Moro. I'm here for the Dragon Ball. After all, my master told me to destroy them in order for you guys to not ever use it. I see. So you're working with Cypher, huh? There's no way I'm gonna let you touch those Dragon Balls. I have a plan to bring back my master. Ha! <laughs> Over my dead body then. How about you try it? As Broly went and he screamed. Broly has now gone and transformed into a Super Saiyan God with his legendary Super Saiyan form, allowing it to go and tap into God Key and get the full power of it. I'm gonna kill you right here. Bring it on! Broly went and charged right towards Moro as he chokeslam towards the ground and from there he began to beat the shit out of him. Moro was already in his final form as he was impressed to see that Broly was able to touch him like that and from there when Moro tried to strike him in his face, Broly was in phase by it. Broly went and took him by his face as he threw it high in the air and he powered up an eraser cannon and he aimed it towards Moro. Moro went and he dodged the eraser cannon as he saw that Broly's power is good enough to steal and from there he charged right towards Broly as he began to go and hold on to his key and take some of his power. Broly then brushed him off as Moro was able to absorb some of Broly's power and get a huge Zenkai boost with it. With that, Vegeta didn't want to waste any time so he also decided to join the battle with Broly as he went and he screamed.
Vegeta has finally gone and transformed into his Ultra Ego. Upon transforming to his Ultra Ego for the very first time, Vegeta smiled and said, Alright you bastard, I was planning to save this power for your master, but you're gonna witness it today. This is my Ultra Ego! Oh, not bad. Before Moro could say another word, Vegeta went and striked him in his face, but saw that Moro was able to still stand, as he went and need Vegeta, but he blocked it. From there, Broly and Vegeta worked together as a team, as they both went and charged right towards Moro, and they started to attack him non-stop. Moro was doing everything he can to hold his own against Vegeta and Broly, but what can he do against an Ultra Ego and a legendary Super Saiyan God power? Nothing, as Broly and Vegeta powered up a Eraser Cannon while Vegeta powered up a Final Flash and aimed it towards Moro. Moro went and he was trying to absorb it but he couldn't as it hit his body and he exploded, getting him to die. With that, Vegeta and Broly managed to finally beat Moro as they saw that the old Namekian was there and from there he was happy that they finally saved him. In return, he decided to give them the Dragon Ball as it was only two pair of Dragon Balls and from the day went and summoned it, allowing Tarambo to arrive. I am the Dragon Tarambo. Speak your wish. Damn, this dragon looks far different from Perunga. Alright Dragon, please, bring back the Supreme Kai and even the beer is the Destroyer. Very well. Beerus the Destroyer and Supreme Kai are now revived. Goodbye. As Torbrombo has left and from there Broly quickly took Vegeta and Kai Kai to Beerus world where he saw Beerus was there along with Supreme Kai. Beerus looked around and said, What the hell? What happened to that demon? I believe we died, but someone brought us back. Kai, it's good to see you. Broly? Were you the one to bring us back? Yeah. And me too! Damn, Vegeta! Look at your power, you bastard! Far in the galaxy, Cypher got the news that Moro has died as he got angry and said, I should have killed these guys! Just what the hell are they doing? How are they able to recover so fast? My lord, let me be the one to go and end him. Tch, your brother failed, but I have enough faith that you won't. I was able to let you have all the power you can. Go and avenge them! Very well. To find out what happened next, my Z fan, you have to click the bell as we have Cypher sending his man after Goku, Vegeta, and Broly while Goku's busy training with Dai Shinken trying to achieve new power. Make sure you click the bell so you're the first to know when next episode comes out. And if you haven't already joined my Discord server yet, what are you guys waiting for? Click the link description below and join it so you can have a chance to RP in that server. And if you haven't seen my backstory, Hero of Z, I highly recommend for you guys to click the link in my comment section below. It's pinned there, therefore you'll be able to see Hero of Z. It is a backstory you will not regret watching.